And welcome back. Well, We're All In campaign is a Wisconsin initiative to recognize that the health of our people and the health of the economy go hand in hand. Yeah, the morning blend stopped by the Bartolotta's famous lakeside restaurant, the Harbor House, to see the great lengths they're going to to keep customers and their staff safe. Check it out. None of us live on an island here. We're part of a community, and it's really important for us to unify, come together, support each other. We want people to get out and enjoy their lives. We need to do it safely, but we need to do it. We need to get out and about as much as we can. The Bartolotta restaurants have been a dining institution in Milwaukee for almost three decades, but the pandemic meant everything closed for months. As they reopened their restaurants one by one, they have taken the time necessary to reevaluate their practices. One of the biggest transitions that we've had to deal with is how do we reinvent ourselves? We wanted to challenge ourselves to be better. One of our models has always been, how do we get better at getting better? So it was sort of like, close the restaurant for safety reasons, take time to rethink your business model and reinvent yourself and then reopen. That means enhanced safety and sanitation protocols at Harbor House and all of their other locations too. We went through a very thoughtful, meticulous plan to make sure that we walked through what it would take to get our employees back to work, creating an environment that they would feel safe and comfortable and we felt that if we did those things correctly, we would then create a consumer confidence to come back and trust us to come back. So we did things like our mask program, taking temperatures. We very thoughtfully sanitize the tables. We offer our menus uh, on a QR code so that they can do touchless menus. We have UVC lights in the restaurants that, that kill much of the viruses and bacteria that are in the environment and airborne. We've enhanced our cleaning protocols. We've put up these bespoke partitions that I designed uh, specifically so that we wouldn't compromise the views like at a Harbor House. We have reworked our entire steps of service. So we communicate to the guests that some of our steps have been modified for your safety and for ours. We wanna make sure that whenever you need or want anything, we're there to serve you but we will consolidate, for example, the delivery of bread and butter and water. Instead of it being two separate visits, it'll be one. At the end of the day, we're trying to create um, a safe, but an exciting dynamic environment. Restaurants come alive when customers are in them. While they want their restaurants filled, their capacity is limited due to social distancing. So Paul has a suggestion to serve as many guests as possible. So what I'm asking you to be aware of is that restaurants, not just mine, all of them, don't have trouble seating you at 5 or 5.30. We, we know that 7 o'clock is the reservation of choice. Consider dining out a little bit later. Consider an 8 o'clock or an 8.30 reservation for any of my colleagues and us because our employees, our businesses need you to help us maximize our ability to serve as many guests as we can and take you on this journey. Since travel isn't happening as much right now, the Bartolotta restaurants want to take you around the world through your taste buds. At Ristorante in Wauwatosa, we're doing a journey to Italy, and every three to four weeks, we're doing a completely new region of Italy, whereas at Harbor House, we're taking you to New England. Since you can't go there now, we're going to take you. Um, we're doing a champagne dinner that we'll be announcing shortly. So we have a whole number of events. We just did a bourbon dinner. Uh, so we are working toward bringing back a lot of our special events. And for Paul Bartolotta, the focus that drives his decisions during this challenging time is the safety and the well-being of his customers as well as his staff. We can always be better as restaurateurs. I think we're pretty good at that. Um, I think the reality is, is what we need to do is earn every customer back. I want the guests to understand that, that we're here for them and that nothing happens without them. Customers know I try to stop at every table I can and basically say thank you because they're, they're helping my employees get back to work. They're helping our en entire organization reemerge. We have reemployed a few hundred people and I have hundreds more to still put back to work. What keeps me awake at night is how do I get these families back to work? And I can only do it at the pace of consumer confidence. Otherwise, I would have thrown all the restaurants open because I need to be open. Business is business, but you know what? My employees come first. At this moment, this is not about, are we making money? This is about not losing money 
and employing people. And if we're gonna get our economy back, what is invisible is the virus. What is visible, what we can do is act accordingly to get people to have the confidence to come back out and to be active in the city. And we are all in. The Bartle Auto Restaurants is all in. My hope is that you understand that we've limited our seating. We've done everything that we can for their safety and that it's very important that they come back out and support not only my restaurants, but all businesses in city Milwaukee. Wow, so many great things he just said. And dining is such an essential part of the local economy. If you're interested in learning more about Harbor House or any of the Bartolotta restaurants and their COVID safety plans, visit them online at bartolottas.com. And Tiff, I know you and I both love Harbor House. Yeah, I was there just the other week and it was, I saw all those practices in person and they truly make you feel safe. Incredible. Also, just so you know, you can go to the weareallinwi.com website to see business resources that can help your customers and clients recognize your safe practices. So for the rest of us, head to social media. That's where you can share your small gatherings, your socially distanced encounters, and even your masks. So what you do is use the hashtag, hashtag weareallin on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to be a part of it.